Western Australia contains a number of very large impact craters. They are seemingly abundant here not because the area was hit by more asteroids and comets than other parts of the planet, but rather because much of its geology has remained largely unchanged since 3 billion years ago. With this being said, younger impact craters do exist in the vast desert such as this feature shown on the screen. Known as Connolly Basin Crater, it measures 9 kilometers wide and 20 meters deep. Since it has highly eroded over time, its lower center is difficult to see until a series of elevation points are marked. The inward-facing scars near the crater rim formed through many millions of years of erosion, primarily through periods of rainfall. The Connolly Basin Crater is located in central western Australia, where it is 330 kilometers southeast of the mining company town of Telfer. Although the true age of this crater is unknown, we are pretty sure that it formed between 66 and 56 million years ago. For this video, we will be using a mid-range figure. The Connolly Basin Crater originated approximately 60 million years ago when a 635 meter or 2,080 foot wide asteroid was on a collision course with Earth. As it approached the planet, it was further accelerated by the pull of both the Sun and Earth's gravity. At the time, what is now Australia was far closer to Antarctica as it had only recently separated from that continent. The eventual location of the Connolly Basin Crater was about as far south as the southernmost tip of where New Zealand's South Island is today. Dense temperate rainforests covered the landscape and a large section of Australia was covered by an inland sea. Not too many large creatures roamed the forests, although several early species of frog-eating snakes such as Alamatophus existed, hinting at the area's overall climate. At a height of 50 kilometers or 164,000 feet, this asteroid began fragmenting as it had a below average density which made it brittle. The numerous reptiles present at the time may have looked upwards and seen a bright streak of light travel across the sky. Moments later, the impacting body struck the ground, generating a powerful explosion equivalent in energy to the detonation of 10,800 megatons of TNT. This generated a powerful shockwave as several thousand kilometer per hour winds expanded outwards from the epicenter. In mere moments, any plants or animals within a 90 kilometer radius burst into flame due to the sheer magnitude of the released thermal radiation. As the shockwave expanded outwards, its strength dissipated although it was still quite strong, causing all trees within a 135 km radius to be flattened. Continuing to expand, trees and vegetation would experience moderate damage in a 220 km radius, causing large limbs and sections of bushes to rip. Over the next several hours, large fragments of material alongside ash piled up, causing areas 100 km from the impact site to experience an ash fall of 2.1 centimeters. Due to the size of the impact, the blast wave would go on to be heard on every corner of the planet. Despite its size, it was too small to cause any major localized or worldwide impacts and thus did not cause any mass extinctions. This area would remain heavily forested until 15 million years ago when the rainforest transitioned into a semi-arid environment. As the climate continually got drier, they eventually transitioned into deserts which have been a staple of Australia since at least 2.4 million years ago. Today, this crater can be visited via a lengthy drive on the Talawana Tractor at Road, which takes you onto its northern rim. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Futurismo for supporting this channel.